how you do. I heard there's this builder in Porsche that says commissions, commissions. The more the better. Every single day. Oh him. Howdy. Last time you were of record-breaking speed. Could I put chance trouble you for another delivery? Fine. How wonderfully refreshing! I just love your kind of attitude. This is the storage box in Jackie for Fang. You know Fang, right? He's the one who lives in the clinic. He's quiet, but devilishly handsome. Originally, I wanted to try and be his friend. I bring deliveries to him and try to strike up a conversation. Every time he just stare at me or tell me to leave him be, it was awkward. Then his bird told me to go away. It's imperative you deliver within 24 hours again. Don't let the bird kick you out, too. By the way, could you also help me check if he's changed his opinion of me or not? Probably hasn't. Going. My sister and I moved here from Bonnerock. As it's like our nomadic ancestors always say, when the talk gets going, move. So here we are. That's not the same at all. Well met. Hmm. My tie. Oh, I think it's fine. No one will notice. I'll fix it when I get time. She moves out of her spot. Grunting. Hi. Hello. Back in school, we learned all about how Sandrock was built. You already heard it like three times. Disheartening. How can someone resist my charming smile? It can be a bit much. By the way, Builder, you can be certain that I haven't forgotten about a reward for your help. But I feel you deserve something particularly special. Let me think on it a while. I'll certainly repay you handsomely. Stay safe here, do two things. Practice combat, and be vigilant of danger. Hey there. I like stones. Be seeing ya. Howdy. See ya. He wanted the saloon to have the luck of once in a blue moon, every day and night. Mm. All right, catch you next time. Hey there. Hey, see.
Why do I feel like I was stealing from someone? The civil corps would show up any minute now to rescue me, but I didn't expect them to send some random individual. Nevertheless, you are here now. Proceed with your extraction plan. I will complain. I have no clue what you're doing here. You do have a plan, right? Wait, wait. By the look on your face, perhaps you're not a rescuer, but a fellow prisoner instead. Oh. Okay. Well, you can join the club and sit over there while we wait for the proper authority to appear. No. Hold on. I recognize you. You're the new builder. Hmm. Perhaps we don't have to wait. With my intellect and your logistical aptitude, there may yet be new possibilities to extricate ourselves from this predicament. Okay. Let's look around this area to see if there's anything we can use to escape, relics or otherwise. I found to this area seeking relics from my laboratory. Upon concluding the indisputable nature of my confinement, I decided to take a nap. According to my calculations, I've been down here somewhere between two hours and two days. Okay. if this machine were repurposed somewhat, it could be fitted with an engine. With enough propulsion, we could likely plow through that hole in the ceiling. Dude. However, any minor miscalculation in trajectory might cause us to die, which would be suboptimal. Let's put this one down as plan Z. Or perhaps just use your pick hammer to break it down into scrap. I'll leave it to your discretion. I haven't turned on the music a little bit. towards the skies for answers. That's entirely the reason I'm in this predicament in the first place. Okay. Well, Builder, our objective is rather straightforward, is it not? Exit through that gap above. Indeed, a mere difference in altitude has managed to contain us here. Mm, pay me no mind, Builder. Complaining won't improve our situation. I suggest we continue looking around. Okay. Wood, stone, metal, scraps. These things are useful to you, are they not, Builder? I must admit, I find using such basic components to solve our predicaments somewhat inelegant. It's better than being left to rot here. Regardless, Builder, I recommend you collect these materials. They may prove useful in our journey to the service.
This machine reminds me of something very obscure. Something you never would have heard of. I assure you. In certain old world literature, it was imagined that time travel might one day be possible. If only I could go back in time and warn myself not to travel into this tunnel. I could also tell my past self that you'd be falling down here around this time, and then send myself to rescue you, solving this entire ordeal. That is, if my past self wasn't too busy right now. Dude. Wishful thinking, I'm afraid. Also, the fact that I did not meet myself before falling in here means that I do not uncover the secrets of time travel on this particular timeline. Or is there a reason I would have allowed this to happen? Stop pondering that, it's annoying. In any case, this machine would probably do us better as scrap. Can you break it down with your pick hammer? Or yours. the environment to bridge the gap between us and that opening up there brilliant in any case let's save our celebrations for the surface after you builder okay we just escaped with a ladder did finally how serendipitous that you were the next to fall into that cavern. Science? Sure. According to several core survey reports, I deduced the likelihood of uncovering a usable equatorial mount in these rooms to be upwards of 99.9%. Huh? Unfortunately, despite my in-depth and thoroughly digestible explanation, none of the civil core members were able to comprehend the significance of an equatorial mount. Thusly, it became imperative that I come here myself, and hence, our untimely meeting. My venture proved not only unfruitful, but also has caused a delay in my research. I must be heading back to the research center to make up for lost time. Perhaps I'll hire someone to continue the search for me. You can ask a question, don't say. I'm glad you asked. In order to facilitate the expeditious referencing and notation of celestial coordinates, a rare old world relic is required. The equatorial mount. So basically it's like a robot thing that you wear. By aligning one rotational axis of a telescope's mount parallel to our planet's axis of rotation, an internal mechanism known as a clock drive will rotate the telescope over a period of a day in contrast with the rotation of our planet in order to compensate for its motion. So it's like a telescope addition thing. Once the state has been achieved, one need only adjust the right ascension and declination dials on the equatorial mount to find any celestial body in the sky in only a matter of moments, based, of course, on the celestial coordinates. So basically, you just observe it. In any case, I must be going. I will find some way to seek out an equatorial mount at a later date. Hmm. Render unto builders the things that are builders. Indeed. You would be much more suited to the task. Surely you'll be able to find pieces of an equatorial mount in the abandoned rooms, likely on a lower level. Okay. Once you've found the pieces by diving in the ruins, you can use the restoration machine at Katori's museum to make it whole again. Please bring it to me at that point and not before. Goodbye. Hey there. Remember, I'm not interested in simply fragments of an old relic. I want the whole device in one piece, ideally working. The civil court keep bringing me rubbish. Once they even confused an actuator for a transistor. Can you believe that? Okay. Hey. Ah. Nice seat. Aw, oh, I wish there was more excitement around here. Why can't we be on the edge of the peripheries or something? Don't wish for that. <laughs>